Chemical stop right there at third. Divinity's on at first. And with one down, Mac Tower Burns in the corner with Jason McCormick stepping up. Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Mac Week in Review. My name's Sarah Pasnack, joined here by my co-host Dave Malinero. We've got lots of wins to report in episode 97 here today. As Sarah said, there's a lot going on this past week. Combined, the Mighty Max went 14-3 and in all spring sports, so let's take a look at that. We're going to start off with men's lacrosse. Let's see how they did. The men's lacrosse team ran their winning streak to three as they got wins over Wilkes and Rosemont last week. Against Wilkes, Immaculata won the second half by a score of 9-2 to on their way to their victory of a final score of 14-8. to Doug Hughes, Brian Schultes, and Mike Reardon all scored four goals in the win. Against Rosemont on Saturday, the Max led 8-3 at halftime and went on to win 11-6 to move to 2-0 in conference play. Hughes got four more goals and was named to the CSAC Weekly Honor Roll, and Reardon and Black each got three more goals in the win. Freshman goalie Denton States was named to the CSAC Weekly Honor Roll in his strong win. The Max will host Moravian on Wednesday and travel to Marywood on Saturday. We're here with senior men's lacrosse player Doug Hughes uh, for give us a little insight to the men's lacrosse team, what they've been doing lately. Doug, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. So the team got started with a, a tough out-of-conference start, but now you guys are 2-0 and in the CSAC. Talk to us a little bit about what the team did to transition uh, to get to this point. Well, we just made a bunch of offensive and defensive adjustments to really figure out what we could do to actually become 2-0, and and clearly we weren't doing that in the beginning, but we have made the good adjustments that we believe will keep us going in this winning record, and we're pretty confident. Confident. They're going into another game tomorrow. They'll be back in CSAC play this weekend. Um, and now, since you're a senior on the team, we've got a 47-day countdown to graduation, which is crazy, right? Uh, can you share with the fans maybe any post-grad plans you're looking forward to? Yeah, I think I'm just going to pursue my career in custom woodworking, and ideally I'd like to open up my own business in it. Very interesting. That's different. Well, Doug, thank you, and uh, good luck in the rest of the season. Thank you. The women's team won both of their CSAC contests last week to move 3-0 in conference. Hannah Varecchia scored six goals to lead IU past Gwen and Mercy on Wednesday by a score of 18-6, and the Max rolled to a 14-2 victory over Cedarcrest on Saturday. IU will put their undefeated record on the line this week when they travel to Cabrini on Wednesday and host Marywood on Saturday. The baseball team has been on fire as of late, winning their last six in a row coming into this week where they had competition against Cabrini and Centenary. Let's see how they did. In the series finale against Centenary, Tyler Kimmick puts the Max on top in the fourth as he laces this RBI triple to center field to score Jason McCormick, who scored a program record five runs in the game. Still a tight game going into the sixth. Brandon Shapiro came in on relief of Tyler Sassman and induced this 6-4-3 double play to end the threat. The Max blew the game wide open late in this one with 11 runs in their final two at-bats and Greg Grandelli struck out the side to close out the 18-4 win over Centenary. In their opener against Cabrini in a tie game in the first, Ryan Ficka pulls off the straight steal of home and barely beats the pitch in to put Immaculata up 2-1. The Max added an insurance run in the third as Chris Zeckers continued the strong start to his freshman campaign with an RBI single up the middle to put the Mighty Max up 4-1. In the fourth, it was Justin Dempsey's turn as he clubbed his second career home run to left field and Trevor O'Brien threw a one-hitter while tying a program record with 11 strikeouts in the 6-1 win over the Cavaliers. In the second game, the match wreaked more havoc on the bases as Tyler Kimmick executed the second half of a double steal to put the Mighty Max back in front 3-2 in the fourth inning. Still leading 5-3 in the sixth inning, Jace McCormick found his way to third and Ryan Ficka brought him home with a sacrifice fly to make it 6-3 which was the finals, Ryan Blau earned the win with 10 strikeouts. In a close game in the series finale, the Max added a key insurance run in the eighth as Ryan Teco singled up the middle to extend the lead 5-2. Leading now 5-3 in the ninth, it was Matt Simon as he gets one of his three hits on the day to make it 6-3 in support of Eddie Decker, who threw six strong innings with nine strikeouts. Kyle Bacher came on in the ninth and picked up his fifth save, of the season to run Immaculata's winning streak to 10 straight games. 
The Max will play three game series against Marywood later this weekend. Softball went 4-2 last week, but 4-0 in CSAC play to move their record to 6-0 in undefeated CSAC play. They dropped a close doubleheader at Widener on Wednesday and bounced back with four straight wins over the weekend over Clark Summit and Keystone. Michaela Petito picked up a pair of wins on the mound and laced her first career home run to highlight the week. The Max will play a pair of CSAC doubleheaders this weekend against Cedarcrest and Centenary. The men's track and field team placed 21st at the Millersville Metrics this past weekend, led by an 8th place finish from Thomas Sagendorf in the Javelin, and an 8th place finish by the 4x400m relay team of Gabe Dwyer, Liam Drungle, Matt Pascarella, and Michael Wamsher. For the women, Tara Liska tied for 9th in the high jump, and Jess McHugh had another top 10 finish as she finished 10th in the 800m. The track and field team will compete at the WCU Invitational this weekend. Is that Andre Agassi or Luke Santoni? Men's tennis is in great shape halfway through their CSAC season as they went 2-1 last week with wins over Gwinnett and Keystone to get the 3-1 in the conference. They will host FDU Forum on Wednesday in a non-conference action match and play Clark Summit on Friday. The golf team placed 9th out of 19 at the Rosemont Raven Invitational. Anthony Spataco was the best for IU as he placed 8th to lead the squad. The Max are scheduled to play at the Elizabethtown College Invitational this Tuesday. We hope to continue this great run as the Mighty Max spring teams are in the heart of their seasons. We have home games on campus Wednesday and Saturday, but keep an eye out on the website for any weather-related changes as you know the weather's unstable this week. We hope the rain holds out. If it does, we will see you at the fields. That's number 97 in the books for Mighty Mac Week in Review. That's all we have. My name's Sarah Pasternak. My name's Dave Malnero. And, and go, go Max. Max.